big one. Oh, guys, this is my, this is my PB of the year. <laughs> dude, dude, it's a good one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. On the spinner bait, dude. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment these popping up down below. So, guys, if you're not subscribed, I'm trying to hit 250,000 subscribers by the end of the month, by the end of February, and I'll buy a bass boat to film videos for you guys. And uh, we're kind of on track, kind of not on track. So if you guys have been waiting to subscribe like at the very last day of February, you might want to go ahead and do it now just to make sure we can get to 250,000 subscribers, 500,000 subs by the end of the month. But today, guys, we were buying the world's biggest fishing mystery box, which I'm pumped for. We've done like some thousand dollar fishing mystery boxes before in the past, but those are like not ones that you can just walk into a store and buy. Like that was a lot of planning and having to call Bass Pro managers and store managers to throw a ton of lures in a box. This is like one that everybody can go in and buy inside a store. It's a $60 box. It's actually from Mystery Tackle Box, the sponsor of today's video. And guys, Mystery Tackle Box and myself think everybody should have a chance to try Mystery Tackle Box. So you get your first box for as cheap as $10 with code NORM. You guys, perfect time to stock up for spring fishing. Fishing's about to heat up. Get a ton of lures for a, a great price. Learn a ton of new techniques. Sounds like a grand deal to me. Use code NORM. First box, cheap as 10 bucks. But um, anyways, we got the yaks in the back. So what I'm thinking, Hey, what's up? I have no clue who that was. Anyways, we have the kayaks in the back. We got two of them. And we found this new lake the other day that I kind of want to go back with. And the best way to discover a new lake, I feel like, is to have a ton of fishing lures you have to use to try to figure out, like, how to use them. So the biggest fishing mystery box today, I don't know how many lures comes inside. I think it's something like 12 to 15. A lot of fishing lures. We're going to try to be the first ever on YouTube, I think, to catch a fish on every box in the mother load box, at least that's the goal. We got like a three, four hours today, maybe, by the time we get to the lake. Let's we'll show if there isn't any topwater lures. It is kind of, uh, it is kind of chilly outside, even though I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, like, I don't know. So guys, the goal today, go inside, buy the world's biggest fishing mystery box, then we unbox it, show you guys what's inside, and then try to catch a fish on every single fishing lure in the box. Let's go inside. All right, guys, we got all the boxes right here. Bam. I love boxes full of lures that you don't know what's inside. You just want to buy them and open them. So that's what we're going to do. You guys saw the video where we bought and opened every single mystery box. The one we couldn't find, though, is the mother load box. So just for, like, comparison, because this is the world's biggest fishing mystery box, the normal fishing mystery boxes, which are still extremely epic, and I've been ordering these things for years, is the regular mystery tackle box. $20, you get $25 value. So technically, you're getting, like, a lure for free every time you buy one of these. And if you use my code, it's instead of 20 bucks, it's 10 bucks. So pay $10 for $25 worth of lures. Pretty sick deal. Even if you only do it for a month i mean just free lures who's gonna turn down free fishing lures 45 dollars for the bass fishing kit elite i've never opened this box either and this one comes with 9 to 11 baits in it for 45 bucks so that's pretty epic too we'll have to open this one day it's the first time i've like seen these in any stores guys the world's biggest retail mystery fishing box right here the mystery tackle box mother load this bad boy is 60 dollars. that's a lot of fishing lures and it comes it says here on the box with 12 to 15 baits so for 60 bucks 12 to 15 baits that's a pretty freaking good deal and it has an 80 dollar value so you should be getting 20 dollars more of fishing lures than what you spend which is what's so epic about fishing mystery boxes is that you get a ton of different lures to try and you get them at a cheaper price because you don't know what comes inside so i'm pumped to see what's inside of this we got to go buy it real quick check it out and uh there's 12 to 15 lures in here and we're gonna try to catch a fish on every single lure in this box and time check real quick three hours 12 to 15 different baits i don't think it's ever been done before on youtube we're gonna try to catch a fish on every single bait guys leave a like for that let's go ahead and uh and buy this stuff all right guys we got the world's biggest fishing box we're about to crack this bad boy open figure we come here to kind of like a little cool location it's actually the first lake i ever fished is where we're at right now so uh yeah time to open this box up see what's inside we're gonna make it like quick that way you guys can just see what's in because we got a lot of fish to catch before sun goes down all righty and guys this is box number 88 by the way so your box may be different than this box unless you get box number 88 there's a lot of boxes <laughs> all right guys boom oh dang okay there's a lot of juicy looking things in here. We're gonna run through them real quick. Number one, Cabin Creek. These are like tiny little craws. We actually, if there's something we can throw with a trailer, like maybe a jig or something in here, we maybe could knock out two lures in one, but perfect little trailer. Also just throw it on like a Ned rig or something. That looks pretty saucy. Numero dos, bam, the zinger. Guggen Squad zinger, guys, use code NORM on the Guggen Squad website, 10% off everything. But uh, yeah, the Guggen Squad zinger, Trey actually caught like a tank 
which if you guys don't know who Trey is, it's Yak Pack's friend. And we were out there fishing and right in front of me on the zinger caught like a four pounder. You guys saw it in the video already anyways, but I'm actually pumped about that. I don't throw spinner baits all too often, but they're an amazing bait. Next up, the motorboat. <laughs> oh boy, okay, so this I've actually never used before, which is what's cool about getting the mystery box. I'm trying to explain it, I don't even know what it is. Give me a second to read. It's a fluke with like a prop on the end we'll figure it out when we fish with it that is crazy though i've always wanted to fish with one of these i think i saw them on like an instagram something other follow me on instagram i'm plugging way too much hey next livingston lures so we're a little lipless crankbait right there i love myself a lipless crank easy that's already in the bag we're catching a fish on that today that's a heavy one too heck yeah wait this is one of the electric ones too i think when it hits the water it makes bait fish noises i think that's what this one is this might be a robot lure next up the real crawfish jig now this is interesting because I don't think I would ever use this for bass. But it says Big Lake, Minnesota. Maybe this is an up north thing and this isn't a down south thing, but I've, I mean, easy could catch at least like a crappie or a tiny bass really quickly. Next up, we got a, uh, a jerk bait, which is a great lure to throw this time of year. It's a four and a half foot to six foot diver, which I'm super pumped to throw this thing. I was actually thinking the last time I was out of this lake, I really wanted a jerk bait. I didn't have any and now I do. So that's epic. Pump for that. <sighs> Trench hogs. The one lure we have caught fish on out at this lake was lizards and trench hogs. So now we got more trench hogs. Perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. That is going to be epic. All right. So this is six foot maximum jerk bait as well. So we got two jerk baits in the box, which I'm pumped about because you guys know jerk baits are normally really expensive lures. Like for whatever reason, you can find jerk baits that are like 20 something dollars. So I'm pumped to get them in like a mystery box. Next, we got ourselves a bluegill square bill right here. And let me see, 2.5 foot depth. I mean, all these are perfect for ponds and lakes. So that is also gonna get a ton of use today. Everything in here looks epic. Even that tiny jig, I'm just afraid I don't have the right like rod and reel combo. All right, we're getting to the bottom of the box here. <sighs> easy, easy. Swim baits, those actually have a sick paint job. The Weston swim baits, they make a ton of really cool lures actually, Weston does. You're not gonna believe it, bro. You know how we just spent $9 on tungsten weights because I didn't have any more and I didn't know if they would come in the box. One eighth ounce, perfect weight for tungsten weights. Guys, tungstens are super expensive and it came in the box. We spent $9 on the same exact thing in the store. That's one fifth of the whole box, just this. That is crazy. Yes, more tungsten weights. I, I need those. Somebody stole my terminal tackle box. If you guys know where Fountain Pond is and you found a terminal tackle box full of hooks and weights, it's mine. Please return it to me. Thank you. Um, <laughs> also, what's really cool about this too is we got a uh, three out hooks, which will be perfect for a ton of stuff that came in here. I'm weird though; I like four and five out hooks. I like like bigger hooks, but three out will be uh, perfect as well. And these have like a weird shape. We'll talk about them more when we're on the water. What I'm most looking forward to in this box too, probably trench hogs. Also, is Livingston lures. I know Livingston makes like really expensive stuff, especially with the technology they have in here that makes like bait fish noises. So I'm pumped to also find this in a mystery box. And you guys know I just love myself a little crank bait. But honestly, everything in here looks freaking awesome. Even this thing, this might be the new secret lure, even though I'm super concerned about this because I don't know if it goes on top, down, bottom, middle, wherever it goes. It could be, a, it probably is an epic lure. I'm just like, I'm nervous, but I'm nervous in a good way. We got a lot of good things in here. Everything in this box, I think we'll be able to catch fish on today. It's just a matter of us getting to the lake now and putting in the few hours that we got. Your boy Norm's got to capitalize on a new lake that I fished one time and only caught stuff on a Texas rig. And now we got a ton of different lures to try out. That's what fishing's all about, guys. Trying new lures, figuring out new techniques, becoming a better fisherman. And I'm pumped to do that today at the new lake. It's a motherload box. So, without further ado, let's hop in the truck. We're not fishing this lake. This lake is boof. Um, we're going to a different lake. <laughs> we're going to give that a little rip, a little dangle. See if anything uh, tickles my lures. Let's go. Kayak, we go. Here we go, guys. Stable land. <laughs> Could have picked up Hunter's seat today for his kayak, guys. It's Hunter's kayak, and uh, I'm just using it because he doesn't. And uh, forgot to get the seat, so we're doing a, a standing kayak mission once again today. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of about it. I like standing more than I do sitting. For starters, guys, we have a, uh, a zinger and like a two-in-one little special right here. We put on the Weston swim bait right here, which 
I mean, it kind of looks funky. It's like a weird color, like collaboration there. Almost looks like a perch, even though we don't have any of those in here. <laughs> but uh, that's lure number one, like a two and one. Lure number two, we got the old rattle trap. And lure number three, we tie it on the trench hog. I think these are gonna be the easiest. And as the day goes on, we're just gonna keep on going through all the lures and catch as many fish as we possibly can on each lure. So I think I'm gonna start with uh, the trench hog. Start it out easy, work our way up. All right, guys, we're gonna start out with the uh, with the old trench hog. I actually love the color on this thing. It looks freaking awesome. But we got the bullet weights that came with it and the hooks that came with the mother load box. So technically we got like three in one, which is just one combo and I think this will be the easiest to go with. And my Texas rig rod and reel, just for those of you guys wondering, I got a 7.4 heavy uh, fast action. That's what I like to throw like on weighted Texas rigs and a 8.3 to 1 gear ratio. I kind of like it fast and I'll uh, I'll slow it down when need be. Guys, this lake is massive. Like I haven't even explored it. We fished it once for one hour two days ago. There's islands I have yet to fish. There's a ton of docks I haven't fished yet. There's deep ledges I don't even know about. We could be on one right now. I don't have a depth finder. There's like a golf course over here drains that I had there's so much to figure out out here I'm so excited to, to use the box too and see what lures work and what lures don't time check real quick too actually it's 2 37 right now it gets dark at 5 30 we got three hours with 12 items in the box we got this we got this easy and hopefully if we can keep this warm weather it might get better as time goes on all right folks we're approaching the uh the old island so far at first 40 minutes really has been dry dry as can be Maybe the bite's just, oh my gosh. I landed next to something massive. A huge wake came out of that bush. That had to be a carp or something. There's no way that was a bass. That was a little bit too big. Man, dude, whatever that was, that was freaking massive that was up there. Oh. Oh, that was epic swimming the trench hog. <laughs> Fish number one, there we go. Finally, 40 minutes later, we see a land him, boom. <laughs> Little squeak, barely had them hooked. But guys, that knocks out the tungsten weight, that the hooks we got, and the trench hog. Half pounder, but I mean, a fish is a fish. That's the goal, is to catch a fish on everything. Boom. Swimming it, not even hopping it. That was a moving bite. That was a moving bait bite, which gets me pumped because, I don't know, swimming this thing through there, that was the first time I tried it too. Swimming it instead of hopping it. It might be bite moving stuff today. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna try one more cast with this. Oh, another fish just swam right out of this stuff. Couple more casts in here and then we'll switch it off. Oh, it's so hard to put down something that just caught you a fish. Oh, someone tried to eat it, I think. Oh, I'm getting waked. Oh, that was epic. Oh, oh, it's a, I think it's a big one. Oh my gosh! It is! It's a good one, dude. He ate it top water. Holy cow, please come in. This is my biggest, guys, my PB in this lake right now is one pound, three ounces. And this is definitely bigger than. Oh! <laughs> oh, please, I need to land this fish. I need to land this fish. This is my first top water fish of the year, too. Oh, guys, this is my, this is my PB of the year. My PB right now is five and a half pounds this year. Oh. Holy cow. Please, 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 don't. Holy cow! Holy cow! Dude, he charged it topwater on the trench hog, guys. Oh my gosh, it does not get better than that. Instagram picture, baby. Follow me on Instagram at Fishing with Norm. We had no clue how the size of the fish, like how big they could get out here. Never heard of, no fisherman has told me, yeah, there's big ones out there, or like, yeah, throw this or that. Yeah, it's the first freaking lure in our box. Decided to throw a couple extra casts and well, bam Mega central. I saw him coming for it. I was like, please grab it. Don't miss it. That is a, that is a behemoth. Boom. There we go, guys. We're going to get a weight on our real quick. So we've got the scale. My guess is probably right at four. It looks so much bigger coming through the water. I thought it was five. Four pounds, nine ounces, dude. Four and a half pounder. Almost five. I was almost, when I was reeling him in, I thought he was five. When I got him, I thought he was four. I was right in the middle. Four, <laughs> four pounds, eight ounces. Big in my PB at this lake. It's my second time ever fishing here. I had no clue there was fish this big in here. Boom. Made it happen. GoPro angle for you guys. Check that fish out. Lunker. Let her go. All right, big girl. Oh, man. 
can't even see her swim, dude. The water's so clear out here. What a tank. Dude, maybe that big fish that swirled over there was actually like a bass too. My PV previously was a pound three ounces out here, and now it's a uh, bigger. We gotta start throwing some of the other lures in the box. I'm messing up big time. I could have caught that on one of my other lures, but oh, I just can't beat a Texas rig. It's just so good. Another video too, guys, right there is that log where I snapped off what I thought to be a big end. Even though my biggest fish ever in here was a pound three ounces, it definitely pulled hard. And now that we see that, try casting out the log again, maybe. Another big one. Oh, I got one. Off the tree, dude. <laughs> another, like, obviously, like, not a four and a half pounder. But another solid one for out here. One of my bigger ones out here. Jeez, man. It's another pound and probably a few ounces. All right, all right, guys. All right, guys. I promise you, I need to stop. I need to put this, <laughs> the trench hog down. Man, it's just too much fun. How can I stop? Five more casts, that's all I want, five more. Five more casts with this, I promise guys I'm gonna switch it up. This is all in the same trench hog too, I haven't even had to tie a different one on. It's handling it, bro. Oh, you see that wake? Oh, I got bit, next cast. In the grass, dude. All right. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's wrapped, he's wrapped. Oh, it was so epic, dude. Uh, he's still on there. He's still on there. He's wrapped up. Come here, buddy. What have you done to yourself? Dude, this is so much fun. Like, they're, they're, they're shallow for the first time this year. Got them. <laughs> Look at that. They're all chunky out here, too, man. Chunky guy. Shoo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Hear me out, guys. I just fished with a trench hog all day. Is that cool with you? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, you guys, we also have a spinnerbait tied on right now. I'm thinking, hear me out here. The motorboat looking mighty appetizing right about now. Shoot, I don't know. If they're shallow like this, I might be able to reel this thing like a buzzbait through here and uh, see if I can't get a little topwater explosion on me. That's crazy. These fish are sitting in the shallow, though. The guy's like, I'm, I'm talking a foot of water is what I've been catching these in. Yo, what is this, man? <laughs> what is this thing, guys? Look at this. It's like a fluke with a spinner on the back. I'm interested to see how this works, so we're just going to tie it on our Texas rig combo, guys. RIP, you know, we had we had a lot of fun. In uh, five minutes, we caught four fish in a big one. You hate to see it, but I got to complete the challenge for you guys. Leave smash like if you enjoy these fishing challenges. Putting an epic fishing lure away to try a motorboat. Everybody needs a motorboat every once in a while. So, guys, this is interesting. This actually might work. It really does just look like a bait fish. So, I'm going to try throwing this thing around and seeing... If it goes like top water. Oh, it is top water. It's a hundred percent. It doesn't even sink. Oh boy. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we can get cranked on top water. And uh yesterday it was 40 degrees outside. I don't like that I have like slight confidence in this. <laughs> like it kind of looks like it could get blown up on. I just don't know if it's like warm enough yet. Oh I just got I just got a hit. Did you see that? <gasps> oh, he ate it again. Guys, I just got blown up twice in the same cast. It was something smaller, but it was a, dude, it was a fish. <laughs> a fish went after the motorboat. I'm just gonna mess around with the spinner bait a little bit. Oh my gosh, on the spinner bait, dude. First cast on the spinner bait, guys. If I catch this fish, it's two lures complete. <laughs> dude. Oh, that's a nice one. We just did that. We just freaking did that. Guys, this island edge is insane. We have found them. Dude, look at the lipstick on this one, guys. Holy cow. <laughs> First cast on the zinger and the Weston Lure spinnerbait. Got us like probably, I don't know, it's probably one and a half pounds, two pounds maybe. You know, we'll weigh it just for fun. Oh, two pounds on the dot, baby. Two pounder, man. What a day, guys. Boom. Mother load box performing us, providing us. Well, perform was not the correct worm to work. Worm. Worm. I'm turning into a, a fish. Heck yes, dude. Great. Now I really have to use the motorboat, I guess. All right, two more casts with this, guys. Two more casts. This first cast with the zinger. I want to throw it a couple more times. Check this out, guys. How we're throwing this, too. When I work a spinnerbait, I like to work it right on the edge of uh, grass lines. Favorite way to work a spinnerbait. 
and that's exactly first cast how I threw it off like a little point just like that and I've, I've I cranked it like twice and he was already there dang I might have ruined this whole edge though this wind is ridiculous today guys so I just put the motorboat down for just a second you know I figure top water bite will be best when the sun's at the lowest try bombing this rattle trap around the edge of this island as you guys can see wind is pushing super hard around this point and normally wind and a point equals a decent rattle trap bite so at least that's my thought behind it that we might be able to i've never fished here but we might be able to pick one off somewhere out here without a graph a little bit of luck all right motorboat catch a fish so i don't have to use you anymore Did you get that? <laughs> Guys, we just got smoked on top water. I think it was by something small again. I'm gonna follow it up with a rattle trap and see if we can't catch whatever that was, guys. I don't know if these are like crappie blowing up on it or what's going on. It's weird blow ups. Guys, let's check real quick again and see what else is in the mother load box because I kind of forgot and we have to tie off that spinner bait and tie something else on. I think we're gonna use this right here, guys. That looks pretty cool. The Strike Pro Jerk Bait and Unfortunately, we'll tie off our spinner bait to do that. All right, guys, here we go. The Strike Pro floating jerk bait, which means I'm probably gonna have to work this thing kind of fast to get it down there. But the move might be to paddle all the way up there and drift it again on the opposite side. I think that's what gonna be what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh. Oh, on the jerk bait. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's a big one. Oh, don't jump, don't jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, this is a nice one. Oh yes, stay pinned. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. The back treble got him, guys. <sighs> Throwing my jerk bait out deep. Golly, that was crazy, dude. I don't know. He's like sky jumped out of the water. Yes. Jerk bait. I can't believe we got bit on the jerk bait. Out deep, too. All right, guys, official weight. Here we go. Well, I guess probably three, three pounds. It's definitely our second biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh. Three pounds, one ounce. <laughs> a three pounder. So we've had a two pounder, a three pounder, and a four and a half pounder today. All on different lures. Bam. Look at that. Thick girl right there. Hate the jerk bait. What an epic catch, guys. Oh, so much fun. Let her go. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Finally. Guys, that was like an hour since our last bite, and we've been whipping the jerk bait around the whatever the the thingy is the top water for so long it feels so nice to get a bite it got like definitely it definitely got way colder oh i can stop throwing this now all right sun is going down tie off the jerk bait and now we have another jerk bait which dives i think less which is going to be a problem it would be perfect if i had the right combo but i think we're going to tie on the old square bill the 2.5 diver right here bluegill pattern too i don't know what bait fish are in here yet yeah that's loud too yeah i like that all right guys so i made my way to like the point of the island here and i think there's a big drop off so my plan i have the square bill and the rattle trap i'm gonna throw the square bill and the rattle trap out and just fan cast like this and try to bring it up this ledge that i think exists out here but then again oh man i don't really know it's just kind of what it looks like but this square bill should be perfect, guys. I mean, it dives two and a half foot, and wh where I'm sitting right now, it's only a foot. With the square bill, you wanna hit it up against as many things as you possibly can. So right now, I got a ton of grass on it, but I have seen a ton of logs out here, and if I can get lucky and just, ow, and snipe a tree out here, probably pull a fish off of it. And I know that there's trees somewhere out here because I've almost hit them with my kayak. Oh my gosh! I got cranked! <laughs> yes, squareville fish! Guys, this is like my first squareville fish of the year, too. 
Jeez, what a feisty little fish, man. Once again, they're barely grabbing it today. It's crazy. Boom. Little pounder, dude, it's crazy. We've caught twos, threes, and four and a halfs. And it seems like there's a lot of these guys right here. Little one pounder, take them. Two lures left. Well, three technically, including the motorboat, but like, come on guys. <laughs> Two real lures left. <laughs> the key with a rattle trap, guys, when you're fishing like grassy spots, like right here, we got a lot of grass, is to keep it right above that like grass edge with like a little bit of contact. And whenever you feel it, you kind of just give it a little pop. Got him. <laughs> dude, is it big? Dude, dude, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. Literally explaining it <laughs> and it happens. <laughs> one lure left. <sighs> wow. No way do we just, I said, just give it a little pop right when it hit the grass. I gave it a little pop and that's when they should bite. That's weird, dude. I got goosebumps. That was almost a little bit too perfect. You know what I mean? Holy cow. I'm feeling some type of way right now, guys. My guess on this guy, two pounds, 14 ounces. Maybe I'm a little off. He's two and a half pounds. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. Two and a half pounder on the rattle trap out there in the middle. I think there's a drop off somewhere out here. I don't have graphs. I'm just seeing like how they used to do back in the old days. It never always had graphs. Two and a half pounder on the rattle trap. I still hear it like squeaking at me because it has electronics in it. It makes bait fish noises. And boom, right when we popped it out of the grass, he came and grabbed it. See you, buddy. All right. So with 10 minutes left of daylight, all we got left is that one jerk bait, which I would be pumped about if I had a jerk bait combo. But the problem is all the combos I got have heavy pound fluorocarbon and it, it really just ends up being a top water. It goes like one foot down maybe. We'll give it a try. I can't believe we're doing this. This has been an awesome day. Another one. Oh my gosh, dude. Another one on the trap. Oh, I need to find a jerk bait. <laughs> here, just come here, come here, come here. Come here, buddy, I know, I know. He just gave up, he's like, he's like, man, Norm got me. <laughs> I stand no chance. That was, uh, what? Two more casts on the rattle trap, another one? Pre-spawn fish, guys, they're getting big for the spawn. I think uh, I think they should get on beds probably in two weeks. So they should be feeding up, getting ready to get on these beds. I need to put this rattle trap down. This is bad. Is there rod holders in this? There is. All right, guys, here's the deal. I'm gonna start paddling back towards where we launched because I don't wanna get lost. So we're gonna do that. And I cast in my craw and I'm gonna drag it behind the boat. Sometimes, you know, sometimes fish just don't want you working it and they just want to drag behind your boat. So we'll see. We're headed back in, but we still got a chance to catch something. And I'm probably gonna throw a few casts like around the drainage dip, ditch up here because I think uh, that's also a pretty, I think that could also be a pretty good spot to try. Oh. Oh my God. Guys, I'm not kidding. I paddled for three seconds and it just snapped off. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? All right, guys, that was gonna do it for today's video. We definitely succeeded. We didn't catch fish on every single lure in the box. I think if we had like more sunlight, we definitely would have got done with that jerk bait and that craw. The one thing that really gave me trouble today was that motorboat lure. We threw it for probably an hour. I spent so much time trying to get a blow up on it. We got two and we even got bites on the lures that we didn't catch fish on. So overall it was crazy. If I would have like not caught so many fish on the trench hog and on the rattle trap and I would have threw the right lures at the right time, probably would have completed it. I think it was a one heck of a fishing day. I had a ton of fun. You guys leave a like on this video, subscribe, comment, everything to help this video do better. But uh, yeah, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here. Oh,